The attributes that make a good squash coach in my eyes is sort of, uh, I would say, the malleability and the, and the ability to sort of adapt to uh, the person you're working with. I mean, over the years, there's been a lot of different guys that got to number one in the world and they did it all in different ways. And, and it's not a one-size-fits-all type of uh, situation. You have to understand who you're working with and first really try to develop a winning game. Like before you try to teach them all the things they can't do well, you got to develop a winning game for that guy. Like identify the player. Like what kind of a player is this guy? Where does he win his points? How does he win? How does he beat guys? It's not a one size fits all. If you look at the last 10 guys who got to number one in the world, they all did it differently. Identify that winning game, make them confident, and then you start rounding out the edges and start and, and start to trying to create uh, sort of better uh, foundation around things that somebody might not do well.